just want to thank everyone for showing up tonight. This is, this is actually a, a really exciting night to open up the time capsule. Um, celebrating our 100th anniversary at Stafford is, uh, is really an accomplishment for, for all of us. And uh, ha having, having a time capsule to, to open up is, uh, is really cool. So, actually, I think there's probably some members here that were here when it was put in. Yeah. So, Jim, Jim Owens, your $2 bill, you do not get interest on. That's, that's, that's not going to happen. So, I want to thank everybody. I really want to thank Ralph and Pat Garnish for uh, focusing on getting this done. And uh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight as part of our centennial celebrations. Okay, now I know how to use the mic. <laughs> but at any rate, um, appreciate the crowd. And anyone that takes pictures tonight or through the rest of the year, let me know because I want to have a continual slideshow of all our different events that we have during this year. So, um, and they'll be put in the time capsule. And they will be put in the next time capsule, which we're planning to put in next year. So with that, Years well. Okay, this this um, this has some of us were here, and none of us can remember what we really put in here. Um, and I'm going to reveal a secret to you in just a moment. But um, this has the possibility of being a Geraldo Rivera moment. If anybody remembers when he opened up El Capone's vault there and there was nothing in it, right? I should also point out that. This was generously donated by, by Tim Woodward 25 years ago, and he takes all responsibility for it. <laughs> I know. So, uh, what I've, I've cut through the top, or the seal, about 90% of the way. And so when we go to open it, I'll just cut the corners and we'll get on with it in just a moment. But here's the secret. There's some photos here that showed uh, Wednesday when we pulled it out of the hole and dug it out. It was very, very deep. And there was a, on the back side here, there's a hole that was poked in by, um, well, who was working on this was our, our, our green superintendent, Mike Armstrong, and, and Ron Johnson. What's Ron's last name? Ron. Ron, just Ron. <laughs> Plain old Ron. And, and um, one of the new, uh, uh, the summer help, a guy named Luke, so we owe them our, our pleasure, but I inadvertently poked a hole in here with a thing trying to loosen it, and we picked it up, and water started pouring out. So it's been draining since Wednesday. We have no idea what condition, whatever things are in here, but um, we found yeah, there's a hole here. And it, it's probably a, a, a hole that was uh, meant to, for humidity to, humidity to escape, like on a safe, you know, a wall safe or something like that. But groundwater got into it. So I'm going to shut this off, start the saw, cut the corners off, and we'll see if we can get it open. Let's go! Go, Ralph! Go, Ralph! Is there going to be an auction? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bid right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you ready, Tim? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Right around. Huh? All the way around. I read Oh, Tim's just doing the part. Tim's the professional at opening up. <laughs>
Drum roll. Hey Jim. All right. So the first thing uncovered is a is is a survey of the property. Hold it up. Is there a picture of me in there? Next we have a a pinnacle uh, ball, a pinnacle golf ball, and a uh, a breast cancer balls golf ball. What do you think that is? It's like a gold. That's the uh, breast cancer golf ball. That's a breast cancer. Oh, well, breast cancer ball. golf ball. There you go, Linda. <laughs> nice going, Linda. <laughs> apparently, there were, we didn't have plastic baggies. Uh, right. Apparently, we didn't. Uh, so, all right. So the first thing that came out was a was a book, a, a loose leaf book that's got the scorecard. And then, like a lot of history from the club in it. It has the menu, which thankfully has changed. All the tournament, the wine tasting so Okay. Would, Candy, would you pick up that picture, please? Set it in the back. Sports Illustrated. Tiger Woods. I thought that deck did. Tiger's been around for a while. Uh, I gotta be honest. I think we're getting closer to Geraldo Rivera's ball. Ah. Yeah. Anything else that's all that's I in there? Forever. Oh no. We've got oh, more. we have a tape. Whoa! We have a Whoa, cassette tape. Uh, of course, none way. of us can play it anymore because there's no I more do. cassette I can't. Ralph, Ralph can play a cassette tape. That's read, awesome. Read who's on here. I can't read it. Max Mason Jr., James Taylor, past president. Bob Bird, uh, Newell Hawley, Bill Sutter, don't know him. Yep. And uh, it says something about a dinosaur. Oh, oh no, no. That's something else that's got to Don Hafley and Ed Holmesy. So I assume that that's people that are talking about the course. Yeah. So it was it was an interview that we did, Ed and I did with the old timers. All right, so we'll we'll copy that and I'll try to post it on Clubster to get it out as much as we can. So what can we I need to throw more room, huh? We're almost at the end. There's a, uh, there's actually a Travis Cup history by Ed Holmesy. And I gotta say, I, I, it's really, I, I really say that Ed and Shirley couldn't be here for this. Between COVID and their age, it's they would have loved to have been here to see this because they've been they they are the history of the club so if you get the chance send ed an email and tell him what we did and tell him we're thinking of them yeah they're they they have having some health issues that's empty by here. so what's in here all right we have one exciting bag left that's not going to open Piece of clothing, it looks like. So we got Matt Hafley's shoes from. <laughs> All right, what do we got? <laughs> uh, these are photographs. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So we, th th these could probably be selling. Yes. Yeah. A lot of photographs and. It's like a shirt. Oh yeah. my God! Oh, all right. So I just want to—I just want to make notice that the shirt that is in <laughs> the shirt that's in the capsule, Jim is wearing. I told you. <laughs> I came out of the capsule. You bought two of them. 
We have a handbook and a lot of literature. I, I, I would have thought this shirt came out of Jim's garage, but he's wearing it. Well, he probably had two. All right. So I, I think that's it. Everybody take, come up, take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we, have, we have champagne on the center table. We're, we're going to do a champagne toast. Please, everybody, grab a glass of champagne. 100 years. This is the first function we've done for the Yeah, we buried the time capsule 25 years ago. It was a um, cooperative effort between the entertainment committee and our club historian, Ed Holmesy. And none of us could remember what we put in the time capsule. <laughs> but, uh, uh -huh. So when you opened it, what did you find today? Well, uh, it was a little wet inside. So a hole got uh, into the, or got, uh, happened. And uh, so the contents were a little wet, but we had a lot of documents. Um, of events that happened in 1996, um, a scorecard back then, uh, we had a Travis Cup shirt, uh, and a, a bunch of other things we haven't gone through or yet. Yeah, it's, it is very exciting and we've learned a lot about Walter Travis who was the uh, architect of the course and the whole course came about because uh, businessmen and staff in Leroy and Batavia got together and decided there should be a country club in this area that would meet both communities. And um, one of the um, founders contacted Walter Travis, had him come up and look at the course, uh, look at the grounds that they had selected, and he went to work designing it. You know, I, the, um, I believe grounds started in 21, and first, I believe the first nine holes were done right away, I mean, within, within a year. Uh, the second nine, which is now our current front nine, was done in 1927, I believe. So, and you, you guys continue to keep up the beautiful course here. You know, tell me about what it's been like to try to keep things going. Some years is a long time. Well, uh, I've been a member. My husband and I have been members for over 30 years, and we have a great volunteerism uh, effort amongst our members. Uh, and the club actually is run by a board of governors. We don't have a manager, so all the board of governors have daytime jobs and um, help put the club together, manage the green superintendent, our, our club pro, and the house staff. And uh, it's just been a really great experience over the years we've been members.